welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing extremely well hi today recipe is lemon pepper steak i only have like five pieces and before i show you how to cook it you have to make sure you rinse it off with lemon juice i use real lemon love it love it love it This will be a mukbang plus recipe ASMR video. Why ASMR? Because you're going to hear different sounds make when you're cooking. You want to make sure you wash off your meat properly that it doesn't have that raw smell. By using lemon juice, it kills the bacteria and all of that. You can also use um, vinegar. I use one or the other. If I'm out of lemon juice, I use vinegar. Before I start, I want to wash my hands. Because my hands feel a little slimy and I don't like the feeling. And um, you can also wash your hands before you start cooking. Wash your hands before you start cooking. I usually wash my hands throughout the process. Okay, so my ingredients are, let's see, I'm going to use some parsley, love, love, love me some parsley, and I like to use, well, not like, I love to use McCormick, can you see it, McCormick, most of my seasonings come from McCormick. Organo leaves. You don't have to put a lot. Cause it's only five chunks of steak. Mm, McCormick basil leaves. You have Larry's roasted garlic salt. And being that this is lemon pepper steaks, I'm going to add a little crushed red pepper. Don't add a lot. Well, it's up to you. If you like it really spicy, you can have a lot. Add a lot. I'm sorry. And this is the Blue Mountain Country Meat Seasoning. This can be used for chicken, steak, lamb. Um, I think they have their own fish. I'm not going to say fish, but basically turkey, so forth. You get this in the Caribbean section of your supermarket. I personally go to Sam's in West Hampstead, New York. Big up, big up, Sam's. I love me, Sam's. And I'm going to use McCormick lemon and pepper seasoning. This is finished, so I have to open it. I mean, this is a new pack. Excuse me, guys. Woo! You can smell the fresh season and the fresh pepper in this. Okay. I 
at the end of your cooking, you use this. Jamaican Choice All Spice Whole Peppermint Seeds. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. I would use my hands. Let me see. Hmm. Let me use my hands. I was going to use a fork, but you want to put love and passion into your food. You have to be passionate about cooking. All right? And you leave it for about 30 minutes. Two hours. You can leave it overnight. But I'm going to leave this for 30 minutes. And I'll be right back. What I'm about to do is brown the steak just for a little while. I like to add two packs of garlic. Woo! Trying to make room for one more piece. And what you're gonna do is brown both sides of the steak. Oh, and um, this is the oil I use. Western canola oil. Sometimes I use olive oil, but today I'm using canola. You, I usually don't turn them over so early but I'm doing it now. You want it to be more brown until you don't see any blood. See the blood right here? You want to brown it until there's like no more blood coming out of the meat. I've grown up seeing my great grandmother cook this way my grandmother and all the other um elderly ladies in my home in my childhood cooked this way they browned the meat first i don't know if this is a caribbean way or i think it is a caribbean way but let me know i think people in down south do this too i don't know comment below let me know do you brown your steak first before you cook it or you just cook it straight like that. Once you have finished brown it, well brown all the steak, you add onions, green peppers, red peppers, scallions, tomato seed, I put ketchup and butter and soy sauce. I put thyme. I'm going to add my tomatoes at the end. What I'm going to do now, I wanted you guys to see all the seasoning and hear the sound. I'm going to flip it over now. I like to have the seasoning at the bottom so that way all the aromas of the seasoning cook into the steak. Oh, and I forget, garlic. Love me some garlic. My friends, them always ask, how come your steak are so tender? Your steaks are always so tender and juicy. Add garlic. 
fresh pack of garlic. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, once you flip it over, you cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. And while it's cooking, guys, like I said, I'm gonna add my tomatoes at the end. I'm gonna cut them up and put them at the end. And I'm gonna use the gravy and just sprinkle all over the meat. So that way it's nice and juicy and not like trashy and dry. For about 15 to 20 minutes. You can go for about 25 minutes on low flame. Okay guys, I've just completed my meal and I am extremely tired. So I'm going to go sit down and eat. This is it. I have corn, broccoli with cheese, diced potatoes, and my steak. This is a quick meal to make, very quick. And healthy. I'm going to drink it. I mean, I'm going to drink some water. And you know, I love my water. I see coal. Let me get my knife. Bad manners. But I'm at home. And I'm talking to you guys. So in a restaurant, I eat with my knife. And I don't talk to my mouthful. How are you guys doing? I hope all is well. You got to give God thanks because there's people out there that are unable to provide and cook food. So when you can, you have to say thank you. Have you ever took a trip to Manhattan? Hmm. You should see the people. Um, oh my God, my heart goes out.
How are you guys doing? steak okay mm. love it love it love it my kids don't like this sometimes I would um, cook it with the smaller ones and they'll bite into it and they'll be so vexed so I buy the bigger ones now that way it's visible and they won't bite into it. It's so good. Oh my god. I'm not saying it because I make it. I cook it. No. If you were here, you'd be saying the same thing. By the way, did I say this was a requested video? I had about two people requesting for me to do a cooking show video. I was shocked. But I like it. So here it is. Lemon pepper steak with corn, broccoli, and diced potatoes. Real quick. You can make this any day of the week or you can make it on a Sunday. My grandmother was like, you should have made some rice and peas. Because <laughs> in my culture, you make rice and peas with any kind of meat. Usually it's oxtail on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. My steak. I'm not gonna be proper. I was trying to be proper. <laughs> I was gonna put a big chunk in my mouth, but I said No. But there may be children watching my video, so I have to show them the proper way of eating. This is the quantity I eat. I don't eat a full plate. I eat a small portion.
this is the time. <laughs> It actually tastes good, the lemon pepper. I like it. Can I tell you a secret? This is actually my first time cooking lemon pepper steak. I usually make pepper steak, but not lemon pepper. And I like the, the zesty taste of it. Mm-hmm, tastes real good. Tangy too. This is the last food on my plate, the corn. Excuse me, where's my manners? Oh, this is an ASMR <laughs> mukbang video. All done. Gotta finish my water. Uh. Ooh, the cramping in my head. Ooh the feeling the euphoria of drinking icy cold water give me a minute I'm trying to make the ice what do you call it the cramping the cold cramp Slushy. Do you think I can finish this icy, very, very icy cold water? I don't know. I'll try.
oh my gosh, a big chunk of the ice went down my throat. <sighs> oh, no burp. Thumbs up this video. Share and subscribe for more ASMR videos. Comment below. Let's interact. Let's talk. Catch me on Facebook. Twitter. Caramel Diva 775. Instagram. Camera D for seven. Don't you just love the sound? I love it. I tried. See? I tried. This is all ice. Let's see if it can melt in there. Check out part one of this video. There will be two parts to the thing. That's it. We're doing ice. Once again, this is Caramel D for 7 coming to you with another requested video. I have several more requested videos that I need to complete. And, um,. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. Oh, tell a friend, share my video. Ciao, Bellas.